Hi all my lovely ladies. Today I want to talk to you about how to make your own nail polish rack. I went online and I was actually going to purchase my own, but unfortunately they're really expensive. So I decided to create my own and I also went online to research on how to actually build one. And I noticed that most of the people that made theirs, they look kind of like a bookshelf, but obviously smaller to hold the nail polishes. So I wanted to make something that was a little more unique and different than what you normally would see. So first before I show you my nail polish rack, I want to show you all the supplies that I had to use um, to put it together. First I bought some um, Rest Oleum High Performance Enamel. Um, this is some spray paint in black. Now if you have a painting brush, it doesn't matter if it's old, just anything. that um, Anything you can use because you're going to use it to dip it in some uh, uh, Elmer's glue. Now you don't need anything big like this. If you have children, you know that you probably have stuff laying around like the little bottles of El uh, Elmer's glue. If not, you can go to Walmart and um, buy just a little bottle of it. And obviously you're going to be dipping this in there. So you just need an old paintbrush. And then um, I went to Michael's and I got this little um, cardboard kind of paper. It's um, real thick. And it's got this little pattern, it's really pretty, and it sparkles too. And then I got some ribbon to match it. It's really pretty too, and this is at Michael's also. And then um, for the actual uh, shelving system, I picked up some, it's like wooden crates, and there are four of them, and they're really small. And the big one, like, they sit in top, um, inside each other, they're all different sizes, and I got those from Michael's as well. So let me go ahead and show you my um, nail polish rack. And I'm going to take you over here to the corner of my room. And this is it. Super cute. And let me get closer so that you can see it. Okay. So as you can see, here is the ribbon that I bought and I just tied it in a little bow. And then this is the paper in the back here. And then this is all my little nail polish bottles. This rack actually holds um, 30, 34 nail polish bottles. And if you can see, these are pretty good size um, bottles here. They're the Sinful Colors nail polish. And let me show you the side. It's just a little wooden crate. And um, they come stacked together. So they are all different sizes. You got um, a big one, a medium sized one, a little bit smaller, and then the really tiny one at the top. And they don't come put together like this. I actually glued them together like this. So if we get closer, you can see that I glued these two together here. And you're going to have to have clamps to hold them together. It's going to take about a day for it to dry. Make sure that they're um, flush together. And you want to leave a little space so that way that you can make this little, um, little angle look that's going on. Anyways, I did all of them like that, and they're all glued together. Um, first, when I glued them, I did them separate. So I did the first two um, big boxes at the bottom, and then I did these two small boxes at the top. And then once they were dry, I put these, um, the big and the small ones together completely. And then I have them all clamped off, and like I said, it took about a day to dry. And then the next day, I took the black spray paint and just sprayed it all over. I didn't do the back because obviously you're not going to see that. It's up against the wall. But I sprayed, you know, the entire inside and the um, outsides. So let me show you. you. Go back around on the sides. You can see it's all spray painted. Even underneath, it's spray painted. Okay. And then all I did was take that ribbon and just cut it and tied it around the box here. I hope you can see that. And I did the same for the top one. And then after the paint had dried is when I did the ribbons and all. And that takes a day for the paint to dry as well. You probably have to put on a couple coats. And hopefully it's really hot outside when you do it. And then um, for the paper, I just measured it and cut it out. And you're going to have to get like two or three sheets of this paper. And it's at Michael's. And um, so I glued it in on the back side and then pushed the paper in. And I used the Elmer's glue for that too. And um, you'll notice that once you have all these boxes glued together, the way they're leveled, it's kind of off the wall a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, especially at the top right there. So let me come around and I'll show you this side. 
So when you actually nail it to the wall, you're going to want a spacer at the top. You see that little wooden peg in the back there? That's the little spacer that I have. So that way it's not like all um, wobbly on the wall because it won't work. So I nailed the top in the corner there. And then as you come down to this bigger box here, I nailed it in the back here and in here. And I don't know if you can see in there, but the little screws are in there. Yeah, it's a little too dark for you to see that, but that's okay. But anyways, in this little Betty Boot doll, I got this from a store called um, Starfire, and I've had it for a really long time. It's really cute, and it's just a perfect place to put it at. So, that is my nail polish rack. Um, I will put the directions on how to actually build it below this video, and I hope you like it. And if you do make a um, nail polish rack like this, please let me know how it turned out. I really want to know. And um, also, if you notice, there are spaces right here, here I'm going to show you, on the outer sides. So you can put nail polish on that too. See, it holds really well. And for those of you that have children, I really recommend to put this somewhere where they can't come up underneath it and like poke their eyeball out or hit their head on it because I really don't want any kids getting hurt on that. That would be really sad. So, anyways, I hope you like it. And um, thanks for watching my video, and I'll talk to you again. Bye.